Welcome back to another video guys, I'm Bash and this is Nomad Scrambler. Today, well, as you can see, we're uh, taking the street scrambler off-road. This time on the North Norfolk 100 mile off-road loop. And um, yeah, I've been off more than I could chew for, so I'm not gonna lie to you, this is uh, way above my skill off-road and this bike is it's far too heavy, but the purpose of this is to show you that really is the street scrambler any good off-road and can you use it to learn how to ride off-road because as a novice rider such as myself can I learn to ride these kind of trails off-road and I mean so far you can it is heavy it is really heavy off-road uh, 225 kilos wet which uh, is extortion if you think about what a dirt bike weighs. That high pipe as well, very hot on the leg and especially for me, keeping the, uh, the speed low through some of these more technical areas because uh, again, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh my God, this is a lot of fun though. I might have to buy a dirt bike. My poor little street scrambler. <laughs> oh, there we go. Big, big kick out there. We've done this bit before. I say we've done this bit before. We've done roads like this before on um, Forest Leap. And it's just kind of becoming comfortable enough with the, the rear end sliding that is the, uh, the worst part. And the fact that you're on gravel and that you're you know, you've got very little authority over the bike. And with the weight, it does want to just pick its own line. And that's fine. You just give it a little bit of help. Back down into first gear, man. <laughs> all right, this is all right. This is all right. I can ride this bit. I, I could do this. This is only a bit of off-road. It's just a dirt track. Oh man, this is gonna be a long 100 miles and I am sweating. I chose the worst day for this, man. It is hot as balls right back down into the seat because standing up is uh it's not for me right now it's just these little ruts man where obviously bikes have been through and obviously the more confident you are the easier this stuff is to ride but again the scrambler's my pride of joy i also have no way of getting home <laughs> if this thing goes down so you know just gotta take it easy but yeah no so far off road this thing is it is quite predictable i will We'll say that. Oh, he says as he like instantly wants to put his feet down because these rocks are just sliding me out. Which this is a thing that off-roaders do, right? They put their feet down to help them in uh, in certain sections where the the ground's pretty crap. Man, this bit is, whoa. yeah, this bit's awful. Look at the view though, man. Not a car for miles. Oh, no. <laughs> Back well, just slipped out. It is all right off-road, I guess. It's, it's very heavy. The suspension travel is not exactly the longest. It's not like the 1200 where you could, you know, if you had some skill and some, uh, some time riding off-road you could probably ride that thing quite easily off-road whereas uh, this short suspension travel you do notice it it's got a good standing position I do like the standing position and when I'm actually up and moving about the bike I do feel quite in command over the bars Ugh. <laughs> See what I'm saying about that suspension travel not being very long. I've done three miles out of the 100 mile loop and I am sweating so much, man. Like, this is a complete forearm workout. That is looking very wet. How can we avoid this thing? Go around here. It makes you think a lot more being off road, especially on something that's not necessarily, you know, designed to go off road. And the more I do it, the more I kind of feel a bit more confident with the bike, with the way that I'm riding it. 
bit of pavement. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, the more you ride off-road, the more you kind of like get a bit more comfortable with the bike and how, it's, how it performs. Oh, big bumps though. How it kind of performs um, and what it wants to do in turns and and ruts like, oh, there we go, big, just get out the seat, you know. I don't think we need any more than third off-road, <laughs> let's be honest. All right, we're coming around here. Oh, pheasants. But yeah, no, like if you were thinking about taking this bike off road, I'd probably at least change the tires because I remember the, um, the tires I had on before, which were the the Metzlers, the Metzlers, there we go. And uh, now I've got the Pirelli Scorpion Rally STRs and they do make a bit of a difference. Like I, can, I can feel the bike grip more in the mud. I'm not sure if I need to lower my tire pressure or something for off-road. I'm still running road pressure in the tires, which probably isn't helping. Um, I don't have an inflator with me either, but man, oh man, what an experience. Now, this is probably gonna go up as its own little video. I'm gonna keep the camera rolling throughout the whole thing, throughout me going all the way down here on off-road. So if you wanna see this as like a, a mini series, then uh, let me know. I'm actually having a load of fun, man. So yeah, there's the street scramble off road. It is so much fun. Um, I've done it once before, but on like a little fire road. This is my first proper time um, in the depths of Norfolk trying to, you know, wrestle it off road. Um, I'm gonna have to stop in a bit for a drink. Now. I came really well prepared for this trip. I came with one Red Bull that I bought at the petrol station. I thought about bringing a a backpack with um, some drinks and stuff and I was like nah this won't take long it'll be easy he says and um, yeah it's not easy this is a challenging ride man and if you you are just interested in like doing stuff like this little fire roads this is easy money for the street scrambler like it's eating this stuff up I'm in third gear I'm doing about 30 mile an hour you will probably be in second but you can definitely be in second actually but yeah, no, it is completely and utterly just eating this up. It's not feeling, it doesn't feel loose at all. Like it feels very planted on the back end. The occasional stone kicking up and I can feel that. Um, and the, the bits of gravel aren't the most fun to ride over because it does want to kick the back end out as you just heard there. But when you're greed with a bit of pavement as well, Tell me what dirt bike does this, eh? And sounds this good doing it. Like, wow, wow. Oh yeah. That breeze is phenomenal after getting absolutely hammered by the sun. There we go. I'm, mate, I'm losing my words because I've just been concentrating so hard. So the main things to take away from this video is Suspension travel is too short for a proper off-roading, like hardcore, I'd say. This is just my opinion as like a complete new new rider, by the way, so don't just take it as like gospel. We're going this way. Ooh. Let's try second, shall we? Having ridden this off-road now a couple of times, the suspension is one of the things that let it down for me. The bash plate as well, the the plastic bash guard, like why? Just, just make it a metal one. This is mm, still, still tarmac. The tires, the stock tires, man, you know that they're not gonna be um, incredible tires. No, no bike company's really putting incredible tires on a bike from stock. But every time I'm just like, yeah, confidence, smash it. And then there's this. <laughs> oh, there's this. Right. Um, we're going to just come up and over. <laughs> this loop is crazy. I, uh, this comes from a guy called Two Wheel Adventure UK. And honestly, like, his channel's sick. Um, he, he just straight up lets, like, gives you roots as well. Like, this is how I got the GPX file for OS map for OS Mapper, which is what I'm using to, you know, plan this route, <laughs> keep me on this route as well. Um, yeah, 
you can download him for free from his Dropbox. So I will tag him in the video description because if you live in Norfolk and Suffolk, I know there's a guy that follows the channel. I think his name is Scrambler Scotty, if I remember rightly. Um, he's been hitting me up on Instagram, asking me how I find these routes and uh, yeah, local knowledge, but also like finding just blokes on YouTube, like UK Adventure Rider. He has kind of been a massive help in making this video because I would never have known in a million years that this was even a thing. And yet here I am now on a street scrambler in the heart of Norfolk, absolutely sending trails. And that's not me moving the bars, that is the bars wanting to move themselves. And there's the back fish tailing. <laughs> Oh man. Right, anyway, I think I'm going to have a quick break because I've been going for about 25 minutes before I go and handle that section up there. And I think this is a good place to stop, to be honest, as long as I can find somewhere a bit solid for the bike. Man, oh man. But how are you meant to ride this? Obviously, they've gone... They've gone up into the middle. See, this is where... You know I was saying that the bike's very heavy off-road. This is what I mean. And there's ruts either side of this little tiny little track that I'm in. And it's just throwing the bike around. That's going to do it for this one, guys. I am well and truly in the middle of nowhere. I'll keep the camera rolling for you so that you can, uh, you can see what happens next. But if you want to see the next part of this series, hit me up. Leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.